Grab your blo bo booby bamber. Booby bamber. Wait, no. Hi friends, thank you all so much for being here. I hope that you're all safe and doing well. Today, I will be trying my best to share with y'all how to do decorum makeup. Now, there isn't one specific way to do decorum makeup. Um, and with decora, the main focus isn't so much on the makeup, but more on the fashion itself. So with all the accessories and all of the layers. And to be honest, you probably don't even need makeup to wear decora, but I find that wearing makeup helps add a little bit of spice a little bit of pizzazz to the whole look. And since there isn't like a specific guideline to follow with the makeup, it allows us the chance to be able to experiment with different kinds of makeup. There's pretty much no limits to the makeup that you wear. So you can have makeup that's um, not super out there. So maybe just like foundation and eyeliner and lashes or you can also have makeup that's super OTT, over the top, blindingly amazing, colorful kind of makeup. So it's totally up to you. But I wanted to still make this video in case anyone is brand new with Decora and they wanted like advice for the makeup part of it and they are trying to like find where exactly to start with the makeup. So this is gonna be like a fairly simple makeup look that you can wear with pretty much any decora look that you would like. So yeah, this is mainly aimed towards beginners. And um, to be honest, I am not the best at makeup. Like I've done some makeup tutorial videos in the past and uh, I'm a little embarrassed of them like when I rewatch it and I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I? But I still wanted to, I still want to try my best with this video. So I hope that y'all can bear with me. I started wearing makeup a lot more over the years. I honestly started wearing makeup in like my adult years. I remember being young and being like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna wear makeup. <laughs> but look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> but um but because i wanted to learn how to wear makeup i started watching like videos and learn tips and tricks from other people and i wanted to share that knowledge with all of you and so honestly if i can do it i feel like you can do it as well because just like with everything it all gets better with practice and i know that you can do it too for the first half of the tutorial, mainly the base makeup, which is like foundation and powder and all that stuff, I'll be using products that I purchased from my local drugstore. So you can find these things at like CVS, Walgreens, I know Walmart and Target would have them as well. So they're pretty easily accessible if you live in America and also fairly inexpensive. And then for the, did I say expensive or inexpensive? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just like I just said it and then I forgot it immediately. But for the rest of the makeup, they're gonna be items from Yes Style, which is an online store. I was actually gifted them by Yes Style, whom I have purchased from many times in the past because they sell a lot of Asian makeup brands. And I personally like using Asian makeup brands because it, I find that it works better with my my skin. So I've got some Korean lip tints as well as Japanese mascara. Even this little makeup bag that I have right over here is from Yes Style, as well as my frog headband that I use to push my hair back when I put on makeup or also when I wash my face. But yeah, they're all from Yes Style. They've got a bunch of different stuff on there. It's not just makeup, they've also got like stickers, band-aids, hats that you could use for decora fashion. And I will be linking all of the Yes Style stuff as well as all the drugstore makeup. I'll list all of the names as well as um, links if you would like to purchase it as well. But yeah, they'll be in the description box. And if you want to purchase from YesStyle, I have got a code that you could use. So if you want to purchase from them, you can use my code if you want to, totally up to you. 
But yeah, so now let us go ahead and get started. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so first things first, you wanna start off by washing your face. You wanna do this before you do any makeup that you do at all and also after as well. Don't forget to wash your face afterwards. I know if you're like super tired afterwards, I, I've done that many times too. I like, I'm like, okay, I'll just, I'll just do it tomorrow and then I go to sleep but then I regret it because then I will get like a breakout or something. It's, it's not good for your skin to leave it on your face. So always remember with any makeup before and after, you gotta wash your face. And then after washing your face, you want to make sure that you put on some moisturizer. Doesn't matter what kind that you use. And also, if you have oily skin like me, you still need to put on moisturizer. It'll help the makeup look better. And it's also better for, I mean, good for your skin. So don't forget moisturizer. And after I put on my moisturizer, I put in my contacts before i put them on i always like wash my hands because there's there could be some like moisturizer residue in my hands so i wash my hands and then i pop them into my eyeballs <laughs> you don't have to like use colorful contacts i mainly wear contacts just to like enlarge my eyes a little bigger but i like i like the look of it but you don't have to wear contacts if you don't want to all right so the next step is you want to put on some primer uh this is also kind of optional but i like putting in primer because on top of the moisturizer it is also good for the like look of the makeup on your face it'll make it look better and not like crusty and cakey there's different kinds of primers the one that i'm using is an instant pore eraser and it yeah it does the job it helps with like because i don't know it's kind of obvious on the camera but like i have like pores on my face that i kind of want to smooth and blur away i guess but they have primers that color correct it'll help with that as well they've also got primers that if you have like issues with oiliness and you want to make it more matte and yeah it there's many kinds of primers basically is all i'm saying <laughs> so yeah i start off with the primer so let me go ahead and put that on i don't put too much i just put like a tiny well, kind of like a pea size amount i think is what it is i will put it on the areas I won't really put it on all over my face, but I'll just put it on the areas that I want to. So like here, and here, my nose, this area, and here. So like just pretty much this area right here. Like a nice massage. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, you want to grab your foundation as well as a beauty blender. So. This is what I like to use if I have more time to put on my makeup, but if I'm in a rush, I like to use a cushion, oh, oh my gosh, it's like reflective, a cushion foundation. Cushion foundations are pretty nice if you know you wanna put it on real fast and you don't really have that much time. I find with cushion foundations, especially like the Korean brands, it is quite hard to find like darker shades because they usually either have it in like two or three shades that are really fair, very pale. And I've only ever found, even with like my skin tone, I've only ever found one or two brands that had my skin tone color. So anything darker than that, it is very hard to find. So I would recommend if you want like a cushion foundation to try like American brands because Korean cushion foundations are color wise, there's not as much like range. But if you have time to, you know, put on some foundation, I really recommend this one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. So if you have oily skin like me, this one is really good. I don't put on too much foundation. I start off with a little bit and then if I feel like it's not enough, I will add some more. So that being said, I will pour the foundation on my palm. Just a little bit, not too much, not too much. Probably that much now i don't know if i'm doing it the right way i don't know if there's a right way to put it on but this is just what i personally do and then i'll take my finger and like dab it my nose pretty much everywhere and i don't really put too much makeup on my forehead because i'll i'll have my bangs and you know it's gonna cover it up anyways but i'll just have it in these areas Maybe up here too. And just scoop it all up. My beauty blender, like the any remaining ones on my hand. 
You'll grab your booby bamber. Booby bamber. Wait, no. Beauty blender. <laughs> Beauty blender. <laughs> and then you'll will run it under some water and then squeeze any excess water out. So you want it to be damp but not completely soaked is what it is. So and then I've already got it all wet, so I'm going to like pop pop pop. I'm gonna like just tap it into the skin. You don't wanna wipe it, you wanna mm 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 mm. Yeah? Okay, let's go. And you wanna like go down in this area as well, just so it can blend with your neck as well. And then I will put on concealer. So this one is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I like this one a lot. It's a pretty good concealer and very, like all the ones that I've used so far are fairly inexpensive. So I will grab concealer wand and put it on the areas that I think need some more co coverage, concealing. Yeah, I think concealing is the word. So, my spots and whatnot. I'll use the same beauty blender that I used for my foundation earlier. And then I'll do the same exact thing that I did with my foundation where I pop, 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 not swipe. I like, and I won't put concealer all the way to like my waterline over here. I'll try to keep it down a little lower. So, right in this area. I find it, it looks more natural that way. Just trying to blend it all together. Okay, I hope I'm not missing anything because I'm a little bit blind right now. <laughs> and I don't have a mirror, I'm just using the camera. And then, I feel like my base is good. So I'm gonna set all of this with my setting powder. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Loose Setting Powder. And also, I have got this so this is a sebastian masta artist collection that he did a collab thingy with toy story and there was, oh woody woody's right here yay <laughs> so yeah it is a very cute collection and one of my friends so kindly gifted it to me when she visited japan a few years ago and all the brushes, they have little sprinkles in it. it. It's it's so cute. I love it. So now to put on the powder, I will open it up and then I'll take my beauty blender, kind of dab into it. And then I will lightly tap it onto my skin like this. Just like everywhere that I need to set. All right. And then I'll keep it on here for like a little bit. I'm not going to touch it. Five hours later. And after I have it on my face, I will use the, the fluffy brush to just kind of blend it into the skin, I guess. But I'm just basically what I'm trying to do with the setting powder is to set the makeup on my face so that it won't move or come off. So now I'm going to move on to my lips. I have got my little Pikachu lip balm. Isn't it so adorable? Hold on, let's see if I can focus on him. You wanna look at him? Look at him! Look at him! But this is my Pikachu lip balm. I got it from Yes Style, and they not only do they have Pikachu, they have a bunch of other Pokemon as well. But all right, so I've got the Pikachu lip balm, and I opened it up and. Basically, mm, so basically before you do or put on any kind of lip product, you want to make sure that you use some lip balm just to prep your lips, even if it doesn't get chapped or anything like that. And I personally like using lip tints instead of lipstick. I, I don't know, just kind of like how it looks better on myself. I have a couple of lip tints that I'm going to be using. So I've got this Peri Para Ink tint serum and this is a number five go go red and i will go go ahead and put it on my lips so just like a little bit and in this area i'm not gonna put too much i'm just gonna maybe put it at the bottom and then do that because it's very pigmented basically do that 
bam and then i've got another lip tint that i'll put on top this is the tony molly delight tony tint and it's so cute like look at the top it's a heart it's adorable i've been using this for many years it's probably my favorite lip tint that i've ever used but yeah this is in the first shade and then i'll just lay it on top of the first lip tint that i put on I find that it helps blend it a little bit more and I like the color that the both of them create together. Yay! And then I will top it off with this rum and... Okay, well, I'm going to just top it off with a lip gloss. This is called Glasting Water Gloss in number 10 San Ho Crush. Or sorry, number one. What? Why did I read? I read it upside down. <laughs> but this is number one San Ho Crush and as you can see, it's like really glittery. And I use it just to pop it off on top, add in a little bit of gloss. Or a little bit of shine, I mean. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on my blush. I'm going to use the same exact lip tint that I used the very first lip tint, which is the Peri Para. And I will put on a little bit. I like to put my blush on this area right here, like right up here and then a little bit on my nose so i will just tap on like that much because like i said earlier it is very pigmented and a little bit goes a long way so i've got that and then i'm going to just blend it with my fingers into my skin and if i feel like it's not because i i like a really red bright pigmented brush if i feel like it's not enough I'm, I'll, I'll just add on some more to concentrate on this area right above here it's okay if you ever mess up on any part of it you're you're gonna put the stickers later so it's all good it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a big deal okay so next up i'm going to do my brows as well as for my eye makeup for my brows i don't really do anything too crazy i basically just put on brow mascara this is by kiss me heavy rotation in yellow brown i think this is the first yep this is shade number one i've been using this for years i like to i like the look of like lightened brows but when i put on the mascara i will go against the grain so i will push it in backwards and then after that i will you know set the brow in place but this is just my personal preference this color you can find like colorful mascara i find that to be really cool with decor makeup like colorful brows and an easy way to achieve that is with colored mascara um i've used like pink mascara blue mascara green purple like there's so many colors that you can find and you'll find a lot of them during like halloween time this look i'm just gonna use this kind of blondish color and always remember i think the phrase is like your brows are sisters not twins so if it's not exactly like do not worry about it it's all good all right so we've got brows done lips done blush and base and the last part that i'm going to work on is my eye area i've got four of these hello kitty press powder palettes this is from the color pop hello kitty tropical escape collection that they did and it's so cute like look hello kitty is having fun summertime stuff and each of the palettes have like so this is all the yellow ones and then this is all the orange ones and then all the pink ones and this is blue and basically what i'm going to be doing is i'll be putting two colors on my eyes okay i'll do like pink and yellow and then blue and orange on this eye oh my finger is so red <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I murdered someone with my middle finger. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on eyeshadow on my eyes and I will use the same, well, not the same, but I'll use one of the cute brushes to apply color. <laughs> no, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> so I will dip in the pink on the pink palette 
and put it on my eye. Half of my eye, I mean. And if it doesn't look pigmented enough, you can just always put on some more to build up the color. Though, uh, my recommendation if you really want your color to pop is to use a white base for your eyes. So you could use like the NYX. NYX has this like jumbo white eye pencil and the color is in, in milk, I think if I'm not mistaken. And that's what I used to use back then when I would do like super duper colorful eyeshadow. To really make it pop is you need a white base. So, but today, kind of lazy, so I'm just like, you know what, it's whatever. I don't really need that. Okay, and then now for the second half, I'm going to put the orange on this side. So it'd be like a two-toned kind of color. And then just blend the two colors together. So I've got that. And then now I will do the blue and yellow. Dip into the blue. Ooh, this is such a pretty color. Okay. Oh, this blue is like really pigmented. Damn it, I went too high. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. It's gotta go with the flow. That is fine. Fine and dandy. Okay, so that's that half. And in between each color, I'm just like swiping off the excess on my hand. Though it, it, it would be a good idea to probably have like a wet wipe if you're gonna use like the same brush for all the colors, just to get the previous color out before you move on to the next color. Okay, now lastly, I'm putting on yellow, the tail end. Like so. Oh, oh, nah! <gasps> I dipped into the wrong shade. Okay, it's fine. It is fine. And we'll blend it both and yellow and blue make green. And I think what I'm gonna do is I will also put some of the color- Ah, oh, I should have done that earlier. But it is okay, it's not too late. But I'm also gonna put some of the color underneath my eye as well. Just so there's some extra, uh, just to get that extra pop of color, you know? Uh, uh -huh. Swap it into my under eye area. Oh yeah, I, I, I like that. I like it a lot more than just having it on top, you know, like putting it underneath. Adds that extra, the flavor. We'll do that for the other side as well. All right, yay. So that is the eyeshadow that I've got on my eyes. So I've got the orange and the pink and then the blue and the yellow. So now I'm gonna put on eyeliner. This is by MAC. Queen? Not Mac, but Mac Queen. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some advice with eyeliner because I know it can be tricky. So when you put on eyeliner, what you want to do is to draw dots first before you draw the line, just so you have a guide on how to put it on. I personally like, they call it puppy dog eyeliner, where it goes down instead of like a flick like that, like cat eyeliner. I like it, eh, not so much down, but like just kind of going straight. That's what I like, but the, you know, drawing the dots first before you draw the lines works with any kind of eyeliner that you put on. So let me show y'all. So I'm going to draw a dot here, here, and so it's like that, that, okay. And then here. So I've got these three dots up here, up here, up here. And now I just slowly connect the dots. And for me, when I use an eyeliner, felt tip pen, I, I personally like the felt tip pens better than the like brush kind. Is this a brush or a felt? I, 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 yeah, I like this kind better because <laughs> I love it. It's like drawing it on with a marker. I find that a lot easier, but I like to stamp it on instead of drawing a line. So I'll show you how that is. So I like just press it on like that, like just little presses instead of you know, drawing a line, if that makes sense. But I'll alternate between pressing it on and drawing. But I find that it's so much easier to do that than drawing a line, you know? Okay, so I'll connect this one as well. And if you mess up, 
do not worry. And now that I've drawn this sort of triangle on my eye, I will like fill in this part right here. And you want to do like tiny little strokes, not too... Don't be too heavy handed with putting on your eyeliner because it can get messy really fast and you want to be very gentle with it. Okay, so now that I've got that part, I'm just going to, for the rest of my eye, just draw like a very, very thin line. I will like hold my eye and then with the right hand, I will draw it on. So kind of hard to explain with words, but you know, you can see what I'm doing. Just little lines, little lines. So it's important to find a good eyeliner. I'll just go all the way to the front of the eye. And if it's not straight or anything, I'll just fill in any little gaps. And I find that for me, because my eye is kind of like bunched up and it just looks a little bit of like wrinkles and stuff. If I like just kind of pull on the skin a little bit, it helps me draw straighter lines, I think. Okay, so that's how I put on my eyeliner. Now there's many ways that you can put on eyeliner, but this is what I find is the easiest for me. So to draw the first triangle, I will draw little dots as a guideline. Make the triangle, fill in that triangle, and then slowly just add like a line along the top. And so now I'm gonna do that with the other side as well. Okay, good enough. <laughs> I like how this video is just me messing up and being like, you know, whatever. It's good enough. So, so yeah. Now we've got the eyeliner all done. It is time for lashes and then we should be good. So for my, for my natural lashes, I've got the Shiseido Lash Curler and I will just curl my lashes. So I'll put it on and then kind of pinch it for a little bit, maybe 30 seconds. And then I'll do it on the other side as well. And after curling my lashes, I will put on mascara. So this is the Heroin Make micro mascara i really like this brand of mascara it stays on a very long time and um it's very waterproof as well i find to remove it i have to use like a kind of oil base no, no, no. okay but yeah i will put on the mascara so you want to go like zigzaggy instead of just up you want to move side by side to get that mascara on there and then go up. Kind of shake it a little bit. Then the other side. Then I'll also put it on my lower lashes. Same exact technique where you like, you know, move it side to side instead of just straight down so that the mascara will get on your lashes. Okay, so I've got my mascara on my natural lashes and I will finish off with the falsies that I have. I personally like using these kind of spiky looking lashes. I find that um, because with my makeup and with my look, I'm trying to look as a natural as possible so i don't really like the look of those wispy natural looking kind of lashes but i like these kinds of spiky ones i also got this from yes style it has a kind of gyaru look to it and i'm going to see first whether it fits my eye or if it's too long and if it's too long i'm going to like snip off a little bit i think it should be fine Okay, so I've got the eyelash, I mean the falsy, and I'm just gonna do that. So I've got this Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe, formaldehyde-free, latex-free. So this is like good for sensitive eyes and skin. I like using this one a lot more. And I will put on just a tad bit, swipe on a tad bit on the lash. Don't wanna put too much, just a little bit but also not too little, just like a good amount. And then while I am waiting for the glue to dry, okay, I will make a 
kind of U shape, a C shape. I will keep doing that so that the lash, since this is right out of the right out of the package, I want to get it used to my eye shape since you know my eyes are roundish. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and turn off my freaking camera again because it's dying. And you'll want to let it dry until it changes color to like a clear-ish type of color. Maybe wait about 30 seconds for it to dry up. But once it's ready, you want to lay it on your like, you know, on top of your natural lashes and you want to make sure that it is as close to like the top portion right here as possible and also kind of face the lash up instead of forward so i'm gonna sit it up on top right here so i like to connect the end first the end of like my eye to the end of this lash together so kind of pushing it onto it. Oh my gosh. I'm pushing it onto my skin. And then I will connect the rest of it. Because since you, you know, train the lash to be in that kind of shape, it will get on there naturally. And then also you want to like push it up like that. So it will go up instead of forward while also pushing it on and down as close as possible so all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and put on the other side as well so now i put the lash glue on top of the other eyelash as well and i'm going to put it on the other side just to match it up to the ends and then connect the rest of it. Props to people who wear long nails every day because this is not easy. This is not even super long either. Make sure you press both ends, like the front end and the back end, as well as the middle, but you just wanna make sure that these are stuck on right because they can be kind of wonky sometimes. So now if you feel like you've got all your makeup all done and ready, brows, base, eyes, blush, mouth, everything is all good, you'll want to set it with a setting spray. I've got the Etude House Fix and Fix Fixer Mist um, and I will just spray it all over my face. This is just to make sure it'll like extra stay on and to help it and to help it dry a little faster I, I just have this fan that I use to fan my face and so once this has all dried up it is time for the extra fun part of all this it is the sticker time so I've got my stickers right over here and the trick with making sure that the stickers don't fall off of your face, like let's say, you know, you're gonna be out for a while, it's hot, you're sweating, you know, the stickers might pop off. You wanna grab some lash glue. So this is the same lash glue that I used earlier for my eyelashes. I will use the glue and put it on the back of the sticker to stick it on to my face so like i was saying earlier this is like for like sen a sensitive kind without any uh latex or formaldehyde and so it is it'll also be good for your skin as well i put on the stickers i can't forget the band-aid on my nose so let me grab that so just like with stickers you can put on eyelash glue on the back of the band-aid as well so let me open it up and I will just dab a little bit on the back. So just a wee bit. And then also this side. I just put it on the sticky parts and not the middle part. It's not really necessary. And then I'm going to paste it on my nose. Like 
like so. Got my band-aid and then I've got my sticker. So some of these are from the dollar store, like this one, this is from the dollar store, but this one, the rainbow, as well as these like holographic, I really like these holo holographic, holographic kinds to paste on your face because they're quite flexible and the stickiness is pretty good. But these are by Mrs. Grossman's. So gonna, okay, yeah, but yeah, these are by Mrs. Grossman's. I'm gonna put one maybe in the corner of my face. Here is the back of the sticker and just a little bit of eyelash glue on the back of the sticker. But I will paste it right here. And that should stay on for a pretty long time. Just like with your lashes, you know, staying on your eye, it will stay on a pretty good amount of time. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the stickers. So let me show you with like this kind of small one. It's a tiny, teeny dab. Don't need to put too much, just like a little bit right on the back. Oh my gosh, I'm spilling the glass clap! <laughs> ah, okay, that's fine. So I will just paste it on there as you would. All right, let me go ahead and put the rest and then I will be back. So here is the completed makeup look with all of my hair clips and accessories. I hope that this tutorial was helpful but like i said i've got all the links to all the products down below and if you have any questions about anything feel free to leave them in the comments and i will try my best to help you out but thank you again so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one Bye bye, bye!